Hey all, today I'm going to share with you the one piece of advice I actually thought was really good about finding a technical co-founder. But first, hi, I'm Lindsay T, Lady Engineer. Welcome to my YouTube channel where I answer the most common questions on the internet from tech startup entrepreneurs like you. If that's not you, I think a lot of innovators get a ton of value out of this content. First, though, will you subscribe and make sure that you get notifications so you don't miss anything after this. Now, let's talk about finding a tech co-founder. Now, I hear from most non-technical founders, I need to find a tech co-founder, right? There's some thing they're facing, usually building a software product, that makes them think that either they have to empty their savings to pay for software developers or stop everything and look for technical co-founders. If you've watched some of my other videos, which I'll link in the description, uh, you know that I do not want non-technical founders to feel like they can't do anything without a tech founder. There's so many things non-technical co-founders can do to advance their business and build an audience around them without software developers and a tech co-founder. I also want to reiterate that most people that are technical are being approached by anyone and everyone, mom, dad, sister, cousin, aunt, friend of a friend, to be a tech co-founder. So you need to be able to stand out. Now, if you want to find a tech co-founder uh, that is in your domain, I think this is the advice that I got that sounds the most appealing. And if you're set on finding someone, this is what you should do. Think about the bigger competitors in the market that you are entering. All right, so think of those biggest competitors. Maybe they're like mid-sized startups. Maybe they're very established players or something in between. Find them on LinkedIn. Find the engineers that worked on that product for your competitors and connect with them, send them a message, get the ball rolling, see if they have ever contemplated building something of their own. This way, you find someone that already knows the domain, probably already knows some of the problems or hiccups that your larger competitors had in trying to maybe solve the problem you're seeking to solve or go after the customer segment you're going after. Uh, so you know they already have the domain ex expertise, and this way you are just narrowing your list and going straight to the types of people that are most likely interested in what you are interested. All right, I'm Lindsay T, Lady Engineer. If you like this advice, if you're going to try this advice, please like this video. Tell me how it works out in the comments, but remember that you do not have to stop everything just to find a technical co-founder. Good luck.